Hi guys, welcome to one more video, Mr. Mike's One Take Videos. Today I had for you reported speech. What did I just say? I said that I had for you reported speech. So let's take a look. Uh, we have direct speech is when we say the exact words of somewhere of somebody. For instance, if you have a look down here, I feel proud because I finished the marathon. James said. Yeah, that's a direct speech statement, and we always put it in quotation marks. Um, and if we take the uh, the expression James said and we put it at the front, the reported speech statement, you have to say James said that he felt proud because he had finished the marathon. Great. Uh, let's just talk about the verb say, introductory verb say and tell, and that. Um, <clears throat> well, uh, if you say uh, James said, you don't have to put that. It's not compulsory. So you can say James said that he felt proud, or you can just say James said he felt proud. If you're going to use tell, though, you have to put the, the personal pronoun after. For instance, James told me that he felt proud, or James told me he felt proud. Great. Just watch out for that syntax. Let's move along to um, what happens in present simple, in direct speech, and what happens when we convert it to reported speech. Uh, let's have a look. In direct speech, we say, we want a gift. We want to get... Uh, a gift yeah we want to get fit sorry <laughs> look at the image yeah we want to get fit said dad quotation marks we want to get fit said dad uh, but if you change that into reported speech you're always going one clip back with the tenses for instance in present simple when you're using out of date reported speech you, you say dad said that they wanted to get fit yeah can you see that they wanted to get fit. Uh, what happens when it's present simple? Oh, look at this guy. I'm training hard because I want to win a medal in the Olympic Games, said Tom. Direct speech, I, su I, I presume. What happens when it comes reported speech? Well, the present continues becomes past continues. And training becomes was training. Tom said he was training hard because he wanted to win a medal in the Olympic Games. Present continuous, what does it become? Exactly, past continuous. Okay, um, present perfect into the past perfect. I have joined the gym to get fit, he said to his friend. Well, if you go back and you actually report it at a later stage, you're going to use instead of the present perfect, the past perfect. He said he had joined the gym to get fit. So again, the present perfect becomes past perfect. Can you see that one click back in the tenses? Let's keep on going. Past simple becomes past perfect. I won a trophy, the tennis player said. Direct speech. The tennis player said that he had won a trophy. Great. I want to win a trophy too. And the past continuous becomes the past continuous. Or we can actually have a swap with the past perfect continuous. Have a listen to it. I was running too fast, said the injured man. Oh, what happened here? He fell down. The injured man said he had been running too fast. Or you can leave it as is. The injured man said he was running too fast. Great. Ah. Uh, um, well, with these modal verbs, you use uh, will becomes would. I will definitely start eating more healthily, she said. Okay. She said she would definitely start eating more healthy. Uh, I can run a mar marathon. Uh, uh, he said he could run a marathon. I may go to school tomorrow. He might. He could go to school tomorrow. I must do more homework. Yeah, he had to do more homework or he must do more homework in the reported speech. Great. Um, okay, you were doing very well, becomes his personal trainer told him that he was doing very well. So the personal possessive pronouns and adjective change according to the meaning of the sentence, I suppose. 
Oh, and the time expressions change as well. You know, uh, I am playing football now. You know, if you know, 36 months goes by and you want to just report that, you're not going to say I am. I was playing football now. I was playing football then. It gives a, a meaning in the past. Yeah. Oh, it's a beautiful day today. He said that it was a beautiful day that day. Yesterday becomes the day before or the previous day. I went to my karate lessons the day before. No, I went to my karate lessons yesterday. He said that he went to his karate lessons the day before. And so on and so forth. Tomorrow becomes the next or the following day. This week becomes that week. Last week becomes the week before or the previous week. And next week, the week after or the following week. Yeah, it was three years ago. It was three years before. If you want to say, well, well, you can sit over here. He said that you could sit over there. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Um, if you have any questions, bring them to class. I, uh, otherwise, try this quiz that's following. Thank you.